internet and email computers can be used to exchange data or information secondary storage devices help in this exchange of data in this chapter we will learn about the concept of email which can assist in sending and receiving messages internet the internet is a network of millions of computers joined together from across the world this network can be used to share data and information with each other internet is also known as a network of networks the information on the internet is present in the form of websites which have web pages we have learnt about the concept of websites and web pages in previous classes we can locate any website with the help of uniform resource locator url every website has its own unique address which makes it easier to locate the website requirements for an internet connection to connect to the internet using a computer we need the following a computer or a device a telephone or cable line a telephone or a cable line establishes a link between different computers a modem or a network card a modem stands for modulator demodulator modem works by transferring digital data information over telephone lines cables a company providing internet connection isp an internet service provider isp is a company that provides the internet connection example airtel reliance jio vodafone etc a software web browser we get information from different websites these websites open in a special software known as the web browser some of the commonly used web browsers are google chrome firefox microsoft edge firefox types of internet connections we can connect to the internet through various ways dial up connection a dial up connection requires the users to connect their phone line to a computer so that they can access the internet in the meanwhile the user cannot make or receive phone calls while accessing the internet broadband connection broadband is provided through cable or telephone companies we can access high speed internet through a broadband connection it is faster than a dial up connection and we can still make or receive calls we can access the internet only through cables in a broadband connection wifi wifi stands for wireless fidelity it uses a radio frequency to connect to the internet we require a modem for wireless connections cable is not required for accessing the internet through a wifi mobile internet it allows the user to access the internet through a smartphone we can buy internet packs for our mobile phones this connection also provides a good speed of internet and it can be accessed from anywhere within the range of the mobile network hotspots hotspots provide us internet access through websites it uses the wifi technology which allows other devices like computers and smartphones to connect to it using web browser web browser is a software that is used to search for data or information through different websites we need to connect to the internet in order to use a web browser follow these steps to use a web browser step 1 click on the start button on the taskbar step 2 find the name of the browser that you want to use example google chrome and click on it the web browser window will open using urls we have already talked about urls let us learn how to use them step 1 type the url in the address bar of the browser step 2 press enter key from the keyboard for example 
If you wish to visit the Wikipedia website, you can enter the URL www.wikipedia.org. Email An electronic mail email is a message that can be sent from one computer user to other users through a network. Advantages of email Through emails we can transmit the message faster than any other traditional mail. The same email can be sent to many people simultaneously. We can send an email at any time and from anywhere in the world. We can forward the same email to others without retyping the whole message. Any file, like music, pictures or a document can be shared through an email. If an email is not delivered, the mail server tries to send it again. If it is still not delivered, then we receive a mail which explains why our message was not delivered. Email address In order to send an email, we need to have an email address. The email address is a unique address for every user. Look at this example of an email address. In the given example, we can see the following three components of an email address. Username. It can be anything that you want, your name, name of your business, etc., but it has to be unique. At the rate. An email address cannot be written without this symbol. It is pronounced as at. Domain name. It is the web address that comes after the at the rate symbol. Creating an email account. Email services are generally provided for free by most of the websites. Some popular email websites are Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, etc. The minimum age for creating an email account is 13 years. If you're below 13 years, please ask for help from your teacher or a trusted adult. Follow these steps to create an email account. Step 1. Connect your device to the internet. Step 2. Open any web browser, such as Google. Step 3. Enter the URL of any email website, such as www.gmail.com for Gmail. Step 4. Click on the Create Account button on the web page. Once you click on Create Account button, you will have to choose the For My Personal Use option. A new window will open. Follow these instructions to fill the details. In the first name field, enter your name. In the last name field, enter your last name. In the username field, you can type any username that you want. It can be related to your name or it can be any other word. Look at the example given below. Sometimes when we write a username, it is already taken by another user. Since an email address has to be unique for everyone, we can use a combination of letters numbers or we can choose an entirely different username to make ours unique. Then you can enter the password. A password is needed to access the email account. Never share your password, even with your friends. You can share it with your parents. Your password must be strong, so that no one can guess it. It helps to keep your account safe. It can be a combination of numbers, capital small letters, special characters such as, at hash, asterisk and dash, etc. There should be a minimum of 8 characters in your password. You have to remember your password and username in order to access your email account. Step 5. Click on the next button to continue. You will see a screen that is asking for personal information as shown below. Step 6. Fill in the details such as phone number. It is optional. Recovery email address. It is optional. Birth date. And last. Step is to select your gender from the drop-down menu. Then click on the next button. If you have entered the phone number, 
a new window will open in which you have to enter the verification code that is sent to the mobile number that you had specified in the previous step. Then click on the next button. Step 7. You will see a screen with terms and conditions. Ask for your teachers or parents help to understand these terms and conditions. Click on I agree button. You will see the welcome screen of your Gmail account. Signing in. You can sign into your email account by writing your username and password. Follow these steps to sign in. Step 1. Open a web browser. Step 2. Type the web address www.gmail.com in the address bar and press the enter key. Step 3. Click on the sign in button at the top right corner of the screen. Step 4. Enter the username which you use to create the account. Step 5. Click on the next button. Step 6. Enter the password which you use to create the account. You'll be able to see all your emails in the next window. Sending an email. An email account is used for sending emails. We can send emails to our friends, family, colleagues. Follow these steps to send an email. Step 1. Click on Compose button on the top left corner of the screen to start writing an email. A new message window will open on the screen. Step 2. The new message window has several fields. 2. In this field, we type the email address of the recipient. We can type the email addresses of multiple recipients at a time. CC. CC stands for carbon copy. By typing an email address in this field, you can send the email to a specific person to whom you want to inform that a mail has been sent to the recipient in the to field. BCC. BCC stands for blind carbon copy. By typing an email address in this field, the recipient will know that you have sent the email but the other recipients into field will not be able to know that a mail has been sent to the recipient in BCC field. Subject. In this field we write 4 to 5 words to convey the purpose of the email. We type the email in the blank white space given below the subject field. In the email we can write our message in a detailed manner. Step 3. After filling up all the fields and typing the email, you can click on the button. Your email will be sent. Reading an email. Just like we send emails to our friends, family, colleagues, we can also receive an email. To open and read an email, we simply need to click on it. When we click on the inbox tab we will find an email that someone has sent to us. The number next to the inbox tab specifies the number of mails that we have received. Click on the email that you want to read. Sign out. Once we are done reading or sending emails, we should sign out from our account. By doing this, we can make sure that no one else uses our account in our absence. Follow these steps to sign out from an account. Step 1. Click on the icon on the top right corner of the screen. Step 2. Click on the sign out button.